before we get to that, we are going to go to what I have to say I was pretty excited about this <laughs> interview. Ariane Thompson is a fashion celebrity, red carpet reporter for USA Today, and she is joining us this morning. Good morning, Ariane. Good morning, guys. How are you? Happy Notre Dame Day. Happy Notre Dame Day to you. All right, so you're in D.C., which means it's what, eight-ish? Where you yes, are? Yes, that's just after eight here. Okay, so we don't have to apologize for getting you up too crazy early. No, not too bad. All right, Ariane. Well, first I have to ask, what year did you graduate? 2004. 2004, All right. So you and I were here about the same time with the same crew of people, and you've had a much more interesting path, I have to say, over the last couple of years. You've got more stories to tell. Tell us a little bit about what it is you do now for USA Today. So I cover fashion, celebrities, and entertainment for USA Today, which means I go to red carpets, I go to parties, I talk to celebrities. Um, you know, I do all of that fun stuff. It definitely is a fun path you've chosen for yourself. How was it you were a history major, as I understand it? How was it you wound up a history major and then a red carpet reporter? Well, I always knew I wanted to be a journalist. And the thing about studying history and being passionate about history is that it requires curiosity. You know, all of these things have already happened in the past, obviously. And you have to be curious enough to find something new about uh, these facts that we have. And to be a reporter, you have to be just as curious have to want to ask questions, you have to want to sort of bug people and find something new to say about, you know, frankly, about these celebrities and their lives that we know so much about. So it was kind of, you know, a natural progression. And I went to graduate school and got my master's in journalism. So it was something that I always knew I wanted to do. Have you always had a passion for fashion and celebrities, that kind of stuff? I definitely have. So I used to watch Entertainment Tonight when I was like, you know, six, seven, eight, every single night, which is so weird, but that's what I did. Well, and I feel like we have to ask a few of the gossipy questions. So do you have any memorable red carpet moments you can tell us about? I think my favorite red carpet moment had to have been uh, meeting Brad Pitt. I had talked to him on the phone a few times, but to meet him in person was literally a lifelong dream, like you just said about John Bon Jovi. So. That was kind of an out-of-body experience for me, I have to say. Very cool. And you are still, you're, you're far away from Notre Dame, you're in D.C., but do you have a, still a strong connection to the university? Yes, I like to call myself a Notre Dame nerd. Um, I've served on the Black Alumni Board of Directors two terms. I was on the Alumni Association Board of Directors, and I currently serve on an advisory council. So I'm constantly in South Bend. My journey with Notre Dame has been, you know, it's lasted since I stepped foot on campus 15 years ago. So I, I just love that place. I, I can't, they can't keep me away. <laughs> I don't think anybody's interested in keeping you away, Ari, and I have to tell you, I knew you were a Notre Dame alum, and I was so excited to see your name on this list because I knew you were ND from what you've written in the past. It really is great to have such a fantastic ambassador out there. Anything on the horizon you're particularly excited about next thing you want to do? Oh, sorry, I missed your question. You froze. I said, is there, is, there, is there anything on the horizon that you're ex especially excited about right now? Any stories you're looking forward to writing? Any gossip you can give us about what's next? You know, what I have to say, this is like a lame answer, but I'm excited about having the summer kind of off. You know, the summer is slow for us because award season is throughout the winter. We just had the White House Correspondents' Dinner over the weekend, and the only thing that happens in the summer really is like, you know, blockbuster movie releases. So I'm actually kind of excited about having a little bit of a break. I mean, celebrity news is always happening, but the big events are over. So summer is our time to kind of rest. So sorry, I wish I could say that I had some big Beyonce exclusive, but I don't. <laughs> there is nothing lame about that answer, though. I envy a low, uh, low key summer. So thanks so much, Ariane, for joining us this morning and for continuing to spread the word of Notre Dame as well as you do. We really appreciate it. Thank you, and have a great, what is it, 19 more hours? I have 16, 19. I'd, I'd have to double check. I've kind of lost even know I've said the number so many times now, I don't know which right. one's which. Thank you so much, and have a great day. We appreciate your time this morning. Bye. And